Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simply Lovely Living. Today I will be showing you how to DIY this wall picture frame molding. We actually added it to both sides of our fireplace. And if you actually want to see how we did this fireplace, I also have a video linked here for you. But we added it on both sides and we also copied it from our dining room accent wall, which you might have seen already in another video, which I will also link here. The difference with this picture frame molding is that it is directly onto the sheetrock, whereas in the dining room, it was on a panel wall that we created with boards and battens in between. So there are some tips that we learned the first time around, and so we applied it here the second time around, and I will be sharing it with you in hopes that it will make your project as smooth as possible. So as always, I'm going to be leaving links below to all of the products and materials that we use on this project. And I will also leave a link to the blog post where you will find more detailed information. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so first off, you need to make sure that you do not have any outlets in the way of the moldings. If you do, I would definitely recommend having them moved because you don't want to have to stop your moldings on either side of the outlet. Next, you want to go ahead and mark down exactly where the moldings are going to go. Have someone help you so that you can measure it all out perfectly and use a level to make sure that everything is nice and straight. For the inner molding, we are using a pre-cut board to help speed up the process. Marking down where the moldings will go helped us immensely when it was time to install them. Now it is time to make our cuts. First, you want to cut the end of the molding at a 45 degree angle. Then measure the length of the molding by placing the measuring tape at the very tip of the angle that you just cut. Use a speed square to mark the exact angle for your next cut. You can lightly sand any imperfections that you might see in the wood, making sure to follow the shape of the molding. To install the moldings, we use liquid nail and a brad nailer, placing them along the lines that we had already marked down. By the way, if this happens to you, just make sure to wipe away the glue right away and sand off any of the remaining residue once it's completely dry. At first, we only put one or two nails because we wanted to make sure that all of the pieces would fit nicely together. And once we saw that it did, we went ahead and nailed the entire molding in place. Also make sure to wipe away any glue residue that's sticking out of the molding as soon as you nailed it all in place. So our inner moldings are pretty thin. When we did the dining room wall, they kept snapping off at odd angles on the miter saw. So this time around, we used a hand saw to cut the smaller molding. Using a miter box, we were able to cut our moldings at a 45 degree angle. You can lightly sand the ends if needed.
Once all of your moldings are up, use wood putty to fill in all of the nail holes. Lightly sand once that is all dry and then wipe down with a soft cloth. Now you are ready to start caulking. Try to keep it minimal, a little goes a long way. You can even use your finger to smooth it out as it comes out. Use a slightly wet sponge to wipe off all of the excess. Finally, it's time to paint. So first, you want to prime your moldings, and trust me, you do not want to skip this step. It will help protect the wood, plus it increases adhesion of the paint. Otherwise, you might need several coats of color versus just one. So I am painting these moldings the same color as the wall, which is Valspar, Summer Gray, and Eggshell. I ended up only needing one thick coat of paint, which goes to show that using primer is really important. And here is the final reveal. Honestly, this project was such an easy way to add character to our living room area and it only took three days from start to finish. This wall finally feels complete and we couldn't be happier with how it turned out. have it guys, our DIY wall picture frame molding. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below and I will get back to you. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you soon.